Diamond City Surplus. Everything you need. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> You keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground. Sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think Raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. 
You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. I... Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Lock's really strong. No luck? Guess we'll need to find a key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. The mayor's office is near the entrance of the city. There's a platform that should take you up. Best part of Diamond City is honestly the lights. I spot those bad boys for miles. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him.
always on good behavior, aren't you? Didn't realize I had been. So this is you not even trying, huh? I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> The night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So... I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I... <laughs> I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Hmm. Place seems small What's to you. What's that for? I figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things.
Nick. Why don't you search that table? Then we'll compare notes. Check out what's on that table. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son, then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him, or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. Uh All right. Now let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Nothing to see here. must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco sunlights. I'm telling you, Kellogg's that nose is brand, second right. to none. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
Like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Bloody Keep your bandages. eyes open. Dog meat can track us. That nose is second to none. We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Something that's found something. Gwyneth Stout, one of his creature comforts. I'm telling you, that nose is second to none. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
make a sweat. Not that it's hard. Exercise extreme caution. Hell of a party happened here. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. <laughs> Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical <laughs> signs. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. What is it, boy? What are we looking for? Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Another one of his stogies. Close. I can feel it. Look around. What do you think, boy? Was this our man?
Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Everything okay, boy? Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. Sensor reading. Yeah.
Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a roommate. Leave. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Someone present. You must be terminated. Take the fuck <laughs> down. Some folk never lose their fondness for living in the basement. Movement detect combat initiated. <laughs> You murdered. 
murdered my wife. Took my son. You're a dead man. Your wife. That was... a regrettable accident. Still, this world, this life, you've seen it. Pain, suffering. Death is its only escape. Don't worry. Sean's... fine. Maybe a little older than you expected, huh? But I can't give him to you. Because he ain't here. Fuck you, Kellogg. Let him go. Your time's done. Your son is exactly where he belongs. He's home. In the Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is, nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. Even if it is useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know, in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. There has to be a way, Nick. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper. The reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. How could Piper help us? Trust me, that dame knows a lot more than she lets on. And she lets on a lot. 
If I know her, she's done her homework. And we need to talk this through with someone. I'll catch up later. All right. I'll see you in Diamond City. And don't worry. The night just got darker. But it can't last forever. Going up. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but... To this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna go quietly the moment I saw him. So... A murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. <laughs> Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. 
You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get a jump started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs>